Baby, yesterday, New York City entered phase two of reopening restaurants, salons, and stores are open for business with safe distancing restrictions. And like everywhere in the country, people's comfort levels are all over the place. You know, DJ Khaled posted himself uh, in a hazmat suit uh, going, to get, going to the doctor, going to the dentist. So I, I guess the question is, what's your comfort level about getting back to business as usual, Sonny? I'm not that comfortable. And I, I was hoping that I would be, actually. Um, <laughs> And, and it's because when you, when you look at the statistics, I think in 26 states, and they can correct me in my ear if I'm wrong, you're seeing a spike. And so while in New York, you're seeing it flatten out a bit, I wonder what the numbers will look like in two weeks from today. So yeah. I am just not right. that, that comfortable. I just wonder if we're gonna be right. amongst those 26 states in two weeks. And, and so I, I'm just gonna, I think, Wait it out. I think I'm going to bunker in right. like the president. <laughs> right. How about you, Joy? Are you ready to hit the salon or have people? You could get your hair done. You could have people over for drinks. What do you think, Joy? Well, maybe, but I don't have much faith that this is going to end anytime soon. I really don't. I'm very concerned. I mean, Joy, barring a vaccine, <laughs> all we have. Wait a second. <laughs> Barring a vaccine, all we have is social distancing and masks, neither of which is happening in this country right now. There is yeah. no leadership telling us. This is going to go on and on and on. And I'll tell you the truth, it's making me crazy. All I do is I get in my car, maybe, with Steve, uh, and I go, we go around town mm -hmm. looking for people who are not wearing masks. Jealous of my life? That's it. <laughs> That's what I do. <laughs> what about you, Megan? <laughs> what about you, Megan? Where, where are you at with all I mean, of this? if it was safe, I would join you. I would be happy to get in a car with you and look at people without <laughs> masks. Um, you know, it's so interesting because I'm sure just like the rest of, uh, you know, you ladies, I have friends in my life who are, will not leave their home, so scared, will only still go for walks. And then I know people who are basically COVID truthers who are not social distancing or not, I'm, I'm not interacting with them, but I know that's what they're doing. And I think... It, Part of it is this misinformation, even talking about President Trump saying that he slowed down the testing, he didn't slow down the testing. There's just still a lot of confusion. I'm really worried about the spikes in other states, too. There's so much unknown. I really don't want to get this, right. this virus. I don't think anyone does. It can be really dangerous. And you just see, like, pictures of yep. people who have lost, like, 30 pounds and people who have died. And it's just we just don't know enough. So I think we're all, as much as I would literally, I think I would let Joy amputate my foot live on television to get us back in studio and back to real life if that's what it would take <laughs> but it's just it's not safe and we just have to deal with it and i'm sorry because i miss everyone yes. like crazy i hate doing this this way well oh, i'm I just putting it. on all the weight everyone is losing and i'm <laughs> loving it <laughs> <laughs>